What's going on guys, Just GC Football back again for another vlog. Because there's Preston North End take on Sheffield Wednesday at Deepdale. And what's going to be a good game. Because there's Sheffield Wednesday are fighting for their lives. As they are 9 points in the relegation and it's been a horrendous season for them. Especially after the start that they've had. And showing a little bit of improvement over the last month or so. But they've still got a long way to go. And 3 points at Deepdale is crucial for Wednesday in their fight against relegation. Because they're taking 5,100 fans today. Because they're their big teams. Because they're very well supported. As it's a 75 mile round, 75 miles from Sheffield to Preston. So good luck to the Wednesday fans. Because it's a brilliant away day as well, Sheffield. But this is the reverse fixture. North End beat them 1 0 at Hillsborough. So they'll be looking to avenge that today. But for Preston North End, our team, because we are sitting at ninth in the Championship. As we finally managed to end our Deepdale Hoodoo against Leeds. So we'll see how we get on. Because if we continue like we did against Leeds, because we'll Miller has to start. It's totally the strongest 11, Ryan Lowe. And I don't think we'll go too far wrong if we can replicate the performance against Leeds. That is crucial for today. I'm really looking forward to it. Especially with the deep down under lights. Cannot better at all. It's absolutely fantastic. But this is pressing North End taking on Sheffield Wednesday. Come on, you whites. Let's do this. Let's get three points as we're only one point off the playoff. Because, and we need to win today. As say, if we want to realise our playoff ambitions, see if we are good enough going into the big crucial game against Sunderland, who are six in the Championship, standing light on New Year's Day. So let's do this, and we'll see you guys at Deepdale. But if you are new around here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Just GC Football for more PNE content, more football content. And I will see you guys at Deepdale itself. Well, here's your pressing North End 11. So he's done the right thing here, unchanged. I do not blame him one bit. So I'm very happy with that team selection. But there is a surprise on the bench as he finally returns for the first time this season. Emil Reese, welcome back. But we have some options on the bench. I'm really looking forward to this. And it's the right thing to do. What we want to do is get in Wednesday's face and start like we did against Leeds. And I cannot ask for any more than pressing if we do that. So with Wednesday, here is their lineup. So one to watch there is a Vox as well, so you can absolutely ping him from 25 yards out because they're shooting from outside the box. But it will be an interesting game because Wednesday will be looking to try and remain tight and try and hit Preston North and the Callum. So this is a completely different game to these ones. So we'll see if North End can break down Wednesday and get a vital three points at Dida. Come on, you whites, let's do this. But today's sponsor is Scratch Off Maps as I roll the program right now. This video is brought to you by Scratch Off Maps. Thank you very much to them for sponsoring this video. It is a brilliant map with lots of availability online that you can go and check out. So the link is in the description. They've got numerous amount of maps, including if you're wanting to follow English football, you're wanting to follow and do as many grounds in the 92. You've got maps based for the NFL over in the United States. You've got Scottish maps as well. You've got European maps, German maps for you to go and check out so lots of variety and lots of good options a little bit about the map the map very easy to scratch off uh, it's very accessible you can literally just pin it up and put it literally anywhere in your room i've even put mine on the door i also really like the fano meter that's available on the map uh, where you can see how many grounds you visited and see what kind of football fan you are. I've currently done 43 of the grounds available on the map. A seasoned traveller and I've got my eye set this season on getting to serious respect section. Don't forget you can go and check out the map. The link is in the description. Remember if you use code JSGC10 on checkout you'll get 10% off your order. Links and details they're in the description. Right, so I go for a quick score prediction here. I will go for 2-1 North End and feel confident that we can build on Boxing Day without a victory over Leeds. So today, I will go for Potts and Milton with the winner. Be a close game and whoever scores first will win today's game. That is my prediction for today. Well, they're allowed for no offense, they should really be hitting the target from the So 
the first 20 minutes at Deep Hill is because I don't know what to tell you about because they're very KJ fair, two teams can't see each other out and Wednesday had the best chance in the first five minutes because they just went wide, really should have done better, but that's it. See if they can increase the temporary at Deep Hill. So a decent chance for Wednesday here with a free kick right on the edge of the box. Right. Tear that all day long. Been threatening that all game, especially with the cow, and this time it's paid off. 1 0 Sheffield Wednesday. There's over 5,500 Sheffield Wednesday fans going crazy. Can't say, can't say they don't deserve to take the lead in a deep deal. Game off. So at last we have our first decent chance here with a set piece on the edge of the box here with three kicks of whipping. Come on, come on. I think that just about sums up our first half. Absolutely terrible at the minute. We must do better. The first half thoughts was a very, very disappointing from North End. Really not built on the game against Leeds at all. So lacking tempo, we keep giving the ball away. We just really struggled to find our pay, but credit to Wednesday. As to get, to say, their game plan is working to perfection. He pressed on the cow and that's what they're doing. They fully, de fully deserve the 1 0 lead AD. Now, pressing must do better, maybe even switch up to two strikers. But say, we need a bit more creativity and better in possession. Best chance of the match so far, as I said, with Lee Miller on his right foot, smacks a crossbar. So what we've done now, Evans has come on, so it's switched to two up front now, with Milliton and Evans up front now. So it's like 4-4-2, or 5 switching back to the 3-5-2 here. Wednesday played a perfect game plan here. We're really, really struggling to break them down to create anything clear cut to break down this very resilient Wednesday side at the minute. Welcome back, Reese. Now, sitting back on the pitch. Ten minutes to go, dude. That's still one on Sheffield Wednesday, pressing the training push to get that equalised because they keep crossing it, and they don't really have a lot of answers to try and break Wednesday down here. Oh. Just needed it, man. That's what I said. That's a good cross. Okay, I always call it to say Wednesday. They've had every answer to press the attack. Everything we've tried, the judge being the Wednesday defender there to block it. Six minutes to go to go say Wednesday down to 10 men. Can they hang on to Preston? Push forward and try to get an equaliser here. Chance for North End with free kick. Ah. 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 Wednesday keeping meets Brown there. It's going to say very nearly a 1 1. Here. Ooh, well defended. Come on, North End. The seven minutes I did on it, Dino. Compress him and get this. Compress him, find an equalizer here. Third bet, that's such a good cross, it found the bit of keepers and nearly points his own net. Come on, Miller. 
to say that's it. A big three points and the Wesley fans absolutely know it. <laughs> Well, we're back in the car, but I've got to give full credit to Sheffield Wednesday. They're absolutely resilient. The perfect away performance, and that's what you described. They met every head of a block, every cross, every corner. Any attack that North End threw him, there was a Wednesday defender there to block it or clear it. They're absolutely outstanding. The perfect away performance. They took their chances when it came, and as said it, the first goal is massive in games like this, especially with little creativity between the two sides and they took the chances when it came. It's because they had two good chances and buried one of them. Nothing. We didn't create anything at clear cut. Because they must do better. And if you define mid table, Preston North End will be it. That is why we will not be getting playoffs this year. Because hey, we need a bit more. It's because hey, we need a very good transfer window to take it to that next level, I feel. As we just like consistency. It's because hey, from Leeds to that performance. It's very, very frustrating as a North End fan. But Wednesday, that's absolutely massive. Wednesday fans, do let me know in the comments below. That is a big, big, big three points in the battle to stay up. Absolutely massive. And full respect to him as, as well. It's because I turned out in the numbers. I was a little bit disappointed in one criticism of the fans. Because I thought they'd be a lot louder than what they were. But like Leeds, because they had about three or four chants. I thought they'd be a lot louder than what they were. But they turned out in the numbers. Because I for a team that's at the bottom. I'm going to take nothing away from them. Because, hey, today is Sheffield Wednesday's day. And fair credit, because I love Sheffield. And uh, I do have to stay up. Because, hey, they're good people. Because, hey, but we're North End. <laughs> we just need to keep tagging along. Because, hey, I get to 50 points. Take it from there. And probably another mid-table finish. Unless we can show a little bit of consistency. Or just have that magic touch. Because, hey, we need a bit more than Liam Miller. Because, hey, we just need that creativity. But it is what it is. Because, hey, I'm not downbeat. Because, hey, pressing fans, I think... Again, there's positive, there weren't negatives, because they didn't boot at the end, because they so full credit. Just said we didn't turn up, because they just couldn't find that final touch. So full credit to Wednesday for that, because they absolutely nullified us. So the next vlog on the agenda now is New Year's Day, as that will be back to our tier system. So it's the most hated non-league club there. So can you have a guess of where we're going on New Year's Day? It's because it's the most hated non-league club, hated by every <laughs> single club. It's because hey, that's the clue. And one final thing to mention is don't forget to like and subscribe to Just Juicy Football for more PE content, more football content, and I will see you on New Year's Day. Peace. Ciao for now.